Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Modern Garden House build. So today we are trying to complete the last bit of the first layer of plasterboard. So as you can see, we've already started uh, boxing in the steel, basically just putting in some timber noggins and stuff so that we can screw the plasterboard to. So quite simple, we just basically screw these vertical ones uh, and attach them to the to those roof joists that we had already uh, behind the steel and uh, we had to we had to pack it out with two layers of the plasterboard to get it out to the required thickness that we needed and then we're going to obviously lay two sheets of plasterboard on that as well so um, also we just got a little bit of insulation to do in the top gaps there which we'll do and then we also have to complete the tech sound installation uh, one more thing we're also going to do today is to install the rear gate or side gate that exits to the alleyway uh, that's a steel gate similar to ones that you've seen us put on other garden houses um, we'll, be, we'll be installing that as well so i hope you guys enjoy today's video and uh, let us know in the comments what you think and i'll catch up at the end So yeah guys we managed to get the plasterboarding done just the last bits around the door and the window also we got the tech sound complete 
just the last few little bits there so we got great weather today thankfully so we're outside now we're going to install this steel door so basically you can see the block wall that we built uh, before we're just basically going to fit it uh, in between there so basically these doors sort of have um, three fixings on either side of, of the either post they're adjustable doors so basically what you do is you fit it into the space and then you sort of use a large allen key and uh, wind wind these uh, sort of bolts uh, clockwise and what it does is it pushes the frame uh, outwards and then you sort of uh, get it tight in the space that you want so you can sort of close and open the, the side frames once you've got it in level when you sort of tighten it up to sort of hold it in place then through those same holes that you put the allen key you drill uh, with a long drill bit through and they give you some fixings some long wall plugs and screws and basically you just need to use a six mil uh, sorry a 10 mil drill bit drill through that uh, put your wall plug in pop your screw in and screw it in job done so there's three of those either sides one in the middles one at the tops one in the bottoms i'm just showing you guys me drilling and screwing the middle ones and uh, yeah once it's all plumbed up nicely screw those in and uh, then you're good to go uh, the other thing you've got to fit as well are the door locks uh, or the handles the locks are already pretty much fitted you need to fit the uh, euro cylinder in and the handles and also we've got an optional uh, sort of drip drip uh, rain sort of stop that goes and screws on the outside of the door so we're not going to screw that in today but uh, we'll put that in another another video Alrighty, our door is done. Job done. Perfect. Okay. Hi, everyone. We are done for the day, so let's have a look and a quick recap of what we managed to do today. It was a productive day, and we finished getting the uh, tech sound in, and uh, basically it's just ready for the last layer of plasterboard, so let's have a look. So this is what the finished room looks like, fully done, fully soundproofed, you can see we've done everywhere. Oh yes, we also um, boxed in the steel frame as well you can see all the way in 
and the room is fully soundproofed. So now all we need to do basically is just go on top of the second second sheet. So we'll start with the ceiling, sheet the ceiling, and then do all the walls and everything. And then we're just waiting for the doors and windows to come in. And then once that's done, this place is ready for skimming. So this is what the door looks like from the inside, as you can see, it's fit nicely. Uh, we are going to run one more row of blocks on top there. We weren't really sure about that, but um, we're going to have to run more one more row. It's really, really tight here. So as you can see where that rafter is, it's literally just got to the top of the wall. So yeah, we would have run one more row on there. Otherwise, that's it, job done. So I'm off anyway, guys. The guys have left now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the progress. We should be receiving our steel tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Behind my back and all that. Um, we'll see what happens. The guy said uh, Friday. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't even look like he's actually made them. So I'm, a little, I'm not really happy with it, to be honest. From what I, what I spoke to him last night, it seems like he's not even made them yet. And it seems like he's going to be sort of doing it tomorrow morning. So... We, we might even get in that in the afternoon, so I don't know. We're just going to see what's happened. We're going to go in tomorrow anyway. What we're going to start with doing is bagging up all the rest of the rubbish. So at least hopefully we've got that done before he turns up, whatever time he turns up tomorrow. Um, that's all we can do. We're at the mercy of these guys now. We've, we've paid up for it and everything, so it's not like I can sort of go anywhere else now. Um, yeah, so that's it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you tomorrow. So have a great evening.